Hey guys, it's been a minute. I think I forgot to do my weekly update last week. So I thought I would pop on this week for not long. <laughs> this week's basketball camp for my son. So it's been a little bit busy. So anyways, um, not too much has changed like weight loss wise a little bit. Um, I think I had stayed the same for a couple weeks in a row and then I've lost three more pounds, I think. So this month I only lost like three pounds, um, which it's better than no pounds. So for many weeks or for many weeks, it was just the same. And then finally this past week, I lost a little bit. So anyways, um, I was happy to see the scale move because it's a bummer when you're working hard and it doesn't. So I think I have, I think I think that would be like 17 total or 18. I'm not sure. So anyways, um, excited for when I hit my first 20 pound loss. I'm starting to tell like I have this shirt on today that I wore in the winter time. And as you can see, it's um, baggy. <laughs> so that's the first time I've kind of tried something on and went, oh, you know, like, I mean, I have a few things that I can tell are, are a little bit looser, but um I'm not at that point where people are noticing that I've lost weight or anything, really, I don't think. Um, or sometimes, you know what, if they do, they aren't going to say anything because they're like, don't know if they should or not, which is fine. But, you know, you kind of get in that place where you're like, after I lose about this much, pe people will, might notice or my, I'll feel it in my clothes or just those non-scale victories that kind of spur you on to keep going. Um, so, anyways... Um, I can't think of anything, you know, too big that's new. Just trying to, to, um, there's times when I can eat little things here and there that are higher in carbs or, um, you know, take a bite of this or a bite of that. I'm trying to cut that back out and just stay focused on my goals. And I think that's why I might have lost a little bit this week, um, because before I was struggling a little bit you know, having something here and there, um, maybe not even off plan, maybe sometimes, but it fit in my calories or something, but it wasn't exactly on plan. And then, you know, just different things like that, where I was trying to, I knew better. So just working on these things, um, busy chasing my teenager around or driving him around. And then, um, just trying to rest in between when I can. For me, rest is like vital. I don't know how you are, but um, with different autoimmune and my stuff, my different things going on, I have to rest or I can feel my body. I call it crashing. I can feel the burnout getting ready to hit where my body's just weary. So anyways, um, I'm thankful when there's days in between where I can rest and chill out and um, not even have to do a bunch of housework and stuff, but just be able to, to relax. Um, yesterday I thought I was going to relax all day, but I didn't. I ended up having to, um, go run an errand, but you know, I'm just trying to do my errand and get back as fast as I can so I can rest some more. Um, so anyways, that's about it. I'm not doing a lot of exercise right now, especially outside. It's kind of hot. Um, so I haven't done as good in that area as I could be. Um, exercise is one of my big struggles because it's not really something I enjoy. Um, I know I think I would if I if I felt better. <laughs> um, I did. I was sick over the weekend, so that kind of just didn't feel well. It kind of dampened things a little bit. But anyways, um, you know, a little bit of loss. Um, which I'll take, still tracking every day, still trying to hone in better on my foods, um, still trying to eat a lot of berries, um, I do eat apples, um, I just got the best, I call it cantaloupe, um, melon from a stand near here that sells, sells it, and it was so good, I cut it up and just have little bits, and it really doesn't spike my sugar, much at all. I check my meter just to see how I do on different things. Um, if you can ever get a finger prick or a, um, 
a Dexcom or some kind of meter. Um, I have a keto, what's it called? Keto Mojo from my one doctor that I used to use to. If you can ever get a meter, which you can find them online, um, it's really helpful because though I'm not like a type one diabetic, I am a type two diabetic and it really has helped me stay accountable to see what my sugar runs um, when I eat different things like sourdough or if I eat melon, like I said, or, or something, I'm not sure, uh, brown rice compared to white rice, I can see the difference in my my sugar spiking coming down slower or faster. So just something to think about if you ever are curious. It's really interesting to see how your body handles different types of food. And when you don't know what it is, you don't, you don't know. And you don't go, oh, that's why it's bad for me because this is what it's doing to my insulin. So that might be helpful for some of you to um, get something like that. Um, my doctor, I didn't even need it at the one time. And she, she just said, what do you think about wearing a Dexcom so you can see what your sugar is? And I think she knew that would help me be accountable by having it on that I would be like, whoa, look what's happening. So just a few thoughts. Um, I hope you guys are having a beautiful August day. I can't believe we're in August already. Um, it's going to get crazy here soon with uh, basketball and the fair and all the things are coming up. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. Um, maybe you can share with me in the comments something that you're doing new or trying to incorporate into your week that's been helpful.